Hi everybody, this is Daryl from the Essence and Harmony channel. I have the scent and warmer of the month for May for you a few days early because I want you to think about and plan ahead. <laughs> so it's really an interesting, very different warmer, one that I wasn't expecting to like as much as I do. I had seen a very small sneak preview when I was at boot camp um, a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't really get a chance to kind of touch and feel it and see what it's all about. So it's it's really different. It's perfect. Well, I won't give you any more information. Let me just go forward with my review. Okay, so when we are consultants, we get the chance to get the scent and warmer of the month early. So mine just arrived yesterday, and in that package, you get a tester, you get the room spray in the scent, you get nine bars of these guys. So this way I can make samples for you all. If this is something anybody would like a sample of, even if you're not my customer yet, I'm very happy to send it out to you. It's all about sharing and getting it under your nose. I'll tell you about it in a minute. We also get 72 rub and smell stickers. So I put that on every single piece of mail that goes out of my house because I can. <laughs> and we also have the little brochure that comes with it. So let's talk about the scent first. The scent is called Saddle Up. Sensi says, capture some on the range reverie with soft suede, aged leather, sheer musk, and a breath of fresh air. I was skeptical about this one because I am not a weathered leather fan. And I'll explain the difference between the three leathered scents that we do have, okay? So let me first give you my first impression of the wax. Okay, first of all, it's a beautiful caramel color. Looks just like caramel candy, actually. <laughs> um, same color on the front. And it's got like um, little stars and a very cute design on the on the actual cover. Whenever you see this little silver uh, sticker, it means it is the scent of the month. And that means it's only around for six months. So this will be available right now for 10% for, for off. So instead of paying uh, $6, you will pay $5.40. And let's give a little review. Wow, that is really beautiful. I wasn't expecting to like it that much. Let's get a little bit of a stronger. When you take it out of the clamshell, the oils have had a chance to go to the bottom a little bit, so it's a little stronger. Okay, so when you do that, the leather is more prominent than when I smelled it on the front. I still like it very much. It's got a slightly perfumey note to it. I think that is the musk. It must be. I am pleasantly surprised. This is really lovely. It's masculine, but yet there's a little feminine note to it as well. I could totally see that, obviously, in your car, but also like in a den, you know, or a, a family room, um, particularly if you have leather furniture. But you don't even have to do that. It's, it's a very pretty... Um, I get what they mean about the breath of fresh air. It's, it's easy on the nose. It's not super strong. So that's my review of that. To give you a comparison, let's look at the other leather scents that we have. We also have sheer leather and we have weathered leather. So let's do sheer leather next. Sheer leather is slip into something more sensual like bergamot, hint of leather, and sandalwood. The sandalwood is pretty strong in this. Um, I used to wear sandalwood perfume back in the 70s. Not perfume, like oil that you could put on your wrist. Um, very light on the leather also. Um, I would say, let's see, how does that differ? Okay, this is more leathery. This is way more sheer, I think, in my opinion. Okay, and last but not least is weathered leather. This is the description Sensi gives. Step into an old-fashioned saddle shop brimming with dark suede and tooled leather over a backdrop of oak. 
I used to do leather working. That was really hot in the 70s as well. I'm really aging myself here, but it was. And I used to make belts and pocketbooks and wallets and things like that. Um, and we would tool it. And this is exactly what that smells like. Straight up, unadulterated leather, nothing mixed in it. It is 100% if you put your nose in a piece of brand new leather, that's what you got. So any one of these would be awesome in this warmer. Um, but your warmers don't have to match your scent. I mean, you could technically put pink cotton in this and it wouldn't really matter, or a fruity scent. Um, the warmers are decorative, so hence, that's how it works. All right, so the difference really is these are in order of strength. I think weathered leather comes the most leathery, then comes saddle up, which is kind of an in-between between this and the sheer leather, and sheer leather is the lightest. And it's interesting, they've kind of done that with the color of the wax. So here we go. See, this is the darkest, that's the weathered leather. This is the saddle up and this is sheer leather. So that's the difference between the three. Again, if you'd like a sample of the brand new one, I'd be happy to pop that in the mail for you. 10% off the whole month of, of May. Not April, but May, it's coming out in May. Okay, next I wanna tell you a little bit about Country Born, which is our warmer of the month. It goes for Here's my price. Uh, it's a $40 warmer. Oh, okay, I thought it was more. $40 element warmer on sale for $36. And here you go. It's a cowboy hat. Oh my goodness, it's a cowboy hat. I gotta tell you the details of this, guys. As with all element warmers, it's got an indicator light on the back. Um, I don't see the word Scentsy anywhere because there's just so much detail to this. Where would you put it? Um, but the little indicator light is on the back. When this is on, this will light up. This is a faux leather. This is a very textured um, piece. I want to show you the brim of the hat. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But I used to do ceramics, and the way you make this is when you are forming the ceramic, you lay it in a piece of burlap, and that's the look it has. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go, there's the texture. So it's really cool. It's got a lot of texture, a lot of detail. The element is oval. I've never seen that before on one of our warmers. This means you do not need a light bulb. This is perfect for a bedroom. You know where I would see this? Oh wow, this would be perfect if you did a little boy or a little girl's room in cowboy or cowgirl. How cute would this be on his or her nightstand? Too stinking cute is what I say. <laughs> it's got an oval dish that goes on the element, okay? And what we're doing with a lot of our warmers now, actually I think all of them, is we are putting the Sensi logo on the bottom and right underneath it, right there, is the letter, the number three. And that's telling you that you should not put any more than three cubes of wax in there. So I personally never put three in, no matter how big a warmer is. I do one to two, depending on uh, the size room, actually, that I'm, I'm using. If it's in a bathroom that's enclosed, it's only one. If it's in my great room, I'll put two cubes, generally. So there's the brim of the hat with the dish in there all made of ceramic and it's not white it's a creamy vanilla color and guys look at that brim look at the top it's got the indentations like a real cowboy hat and if you'll notice there's holes all around that's to let the scent out um, absolutely adorable I definitely am impressed with this more than I thought I would be um, I live in an area near Ocala, Florida, that is Central Florida, and we are full of racehorse breeders and farmland, and even though my development is very built up, the surrounding areas are all farmland. So if any of you live in the country, this is perfect. Even if you don't live in the country, but you're country-inspired, you know, you could live in New York City and still be a country person. 
um, this is perfect for you. It doesn't take up as much real estate as I thought it would. Uh, let's see if we have any dimensions on this. I don't see. Ah, four foot, four foot, listen to me. Four inches high by nine inches at the widest part. And I would say this is only about six inches on the oval part, but from front to back would be nine inches. And it's only four inches tall. So it's a really different, great warmer. I love it. I love it, I really do. Oh, also another cool feature is we've got a little hole, um, let me not break it. There is a notch on the bottom that your cord can lay perfectly right there so when it's on the table, it will not shimmy. It'll lay nice and flat. So this is called the Country Born Warmer of the Month starting May 1st. It normally retails for $40. It is $36 now. I'm taking pre-orders for this, so if you'd like it, ordered and shipped very close to the first of the month, let me know and I will take your information down and be sure to get you one of those. Again, the bar is saddle up. We have it also in a room spray and that's my story for today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up below uh, or feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm getting more and more subscribers every day, so that's kind of exciting to see my channel grow. And if there's anything I can help you with in terms of an order or a question or some samples or a catalog, I still have plenty. These are brand new catalogs just out May for, uh, March 1st. I'd be happy to get one to you, no charge, okay? Let me know, guys. Have a great day. And by the way, happy Easter, happy Passover, happy whatever you celebrate. Bye.